Custom reporting again. I know I op always open up with that caveat, right? What am I reporting? Well, exciting stuff, as always, for myself anyways. I don't know about the rest of you. I would assume for the rest of you, since you bother to use your time um, with me, which I compliment you for and am grateful. Uh, talking a little bit more about the collaborative commons and just uh, something that's occurred in my mind. Um, it's hard for me to qualify a lot of this data because I, I'm, I suspect not all of you will have read uh, Jeremy Rifkin's uh, Zero, Zero Marginal Cost Society, which is it's, it's a very interesting overlook. For me, anyways, I found it very fascinating. Now, um, the main reason that I found it very fascinating is because one of my constant frustrations is, you know, left and right, day to day, we constantly see, I constantly see, reasons why our current economy is not functioning um, at peak efficiency. To, to benefit everyone, to help us live, uh, you know, in, in such a way that not only are we not uh, ruining the environment or hurting our fellow man or, you know, putting other people down or just wasting resources for the sake of using them to make sure we fill a particular budget or whatever it may be. I see these issues day to day. Um, and they're easy to identify. Now, what Jeremy Rifkin manages to, to point out in his book is, is sort of like an overview of an alternative. And that alternative is, is referred to in these circles that are talking about these possibilities as the collaborative commons. Um, any of you ever have ever heard of either Airbnb or Couchsurf. These are two particular organizations, you know, businesses, whatever you want to refer to them as, the reality is that in their back end they function entirely differently as, as, as than what we're used to seeing. Um, and in their front end they actually function differently. So uh, I'll give you a little bit of an explanation um, as to how Airbnb functions, and it's it's actually a pretty cool concept. So, me, as a let's say a homeowner, um, I have the ability to register myself into the database on on Airbnb, and this will list me to anyone who's coming as a customer, coming into Airbnb as a customer. And it, it will say something to the effect of this person has a room available to rent uh, for a brief period in time. So let's say I'm going to Paris for a week or two or three days or something like that and I need a place to stay for that period in time but I don't really want to cash out and pay for you know the Hilton or anything like that. I'd like to save that money and I'd also like to make sure that I'm giving value back directly into the local economy rather than it cycling up a chain of corporate garbage and who knows where it actually lands. So th that was a very interesting um, you know, con concept because it has given a lot of people across the planet the ability to rent their room out with the safety and protection of wor working within this market, working within this network, um, and, and to kind of give to their community as well and to give to the world more more particularly to start starting to shift consciousness in terms of rather than recognizing so much you know these divisions between nations and so on and so forth with which i will absolutely agree the internet has helped a lot in breaking down that division in our minds which isn't useful um and and sort of realigning us to to consciously accepting the concept of us existing as a, as humankind as as a whole race right 
So these these are all concepts that are floating around within the collaborative commons, which is a really awesome thing for me because it's something that I feel very passionately about. It's something that I see as as a very um, as a very bright light that is extremely possible for the near future. And I, what I like obviously with my tagline there, which is um, gathering knowledge, sharing information through collaborative solutions, I have somewhat of, uh, you know, I have an affinity towards this. But one of the main things that I, and I have been successful to a certain extent, I'd like to be considerably more successful, so and so I'm putting this out to anyone who's watching this video, that I am always looking to collaborate. It doesn't matter what it is that it, that you are interested in collaborating about, and not that I'm not interested, but in my mind, if it's an endeavor that happens between two or more people, then it's collaboration. And and finding useful, sis, well, not necessarily, so finding useful protocols through which those exchanges can happen between uh, two or more people are, that's particularly what I'm interested in. And so any, I'm, I'm making a reach out, I'm putting my hands out there and I'm saying to anyone that is interested in working in that way with me that please contact me and uh, continue to follow me on uh, RaymondJohnstone.com and um, obviously through my social media on Facebook, on Twitter, on Google Plus. I even have a profile on on uh, LinkedIn which can be directly found through through uh, RaymondJohnstone.com. But yeah, so uh, I know that was a very very hardcore verbal diarrhea that probably didn't seem particularly <laughs> <coughs> passed out and yeah that's me <laughs> sorry um, I look forward to speaking to any of you have an excellent day